constituent organizations. Uh, ben Emerson, finally, you've called um, on uh, Britain and the U.S. to release confidential reports into the country's involvement in the kidnapping and torture of terrorism suspects, um, accusing them of years of official denials. Can you expand on that? Yes, I, I presented in my last report to the Human Rights Council a series of principles on accountability for what are described in international law as gross or systemic human rights violations. And I think that there's no doubt that the um, uh, conspiracy that involved the commission of acts of secret detention, uh, torture and rendition under the Bush administration constitute gross and systematic human rights violations. Uh, and international law is clear on this. There is no superior orders defense. There is no principle that would justify, just as at the Nuremberg trials, there was no principle that would allow someone to say, well, this is what was ordered by my, my uh, officials. Uh, there must be, international law requires that there be, a system for achieving accountability. And we know uh, that the uh, Feinstein uh, the Senate Committee report uh, into the activities of the CIA is said to be a very thorough and comprehensive analysis and to identify who made the decisions, uh, who committed the acts uh, uh, alleged, uh, and where and how and why. Uh, and a crucial part of the duty of accountability under international law is the so-called right to truth. And that's a right that's not just belonging to the victims, but to society at large. Uh, and therefore, I mean, the time has come unequivocally for the release of the Feinstein report. I mean, if there have to be particular redactions in order to protect the identity of operatives from reprisals, so be it. But the key findings of the Feinstein report and of a parallel report uh, commissioned and prepared and provided to the British Prime Minister uh, in relation to the United Kingdom's involvement in these activities um, must now be made public. And we will not stop um, calling for the publication of this material until uh, uh, at least a sufficient amount of it has been put into the public domain. Ben Emerson, I want to thank you for being with us. UN Special Rapporteur on Human Rights and Counterterrorism has issued an interim report on his investigation into U.S. drone strikes and targeted killings. His findings, along with a report by the UN Special Rapporteur on extrajudicial execution will be debated today at the U.N. General Assembly. This is Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The War and Peace Report. When we come back, a drone operator. Stay with us.